What's up, everybody? It's Tyler here from Centered. Uh, I have with me Scott Stone, uh, and he is a level one Wim Hof instructor, uh, and he's going to be bringing a Wim Hof fundamentals workshop to us here at Centered CrossFit. So, Scott, tell me about this seminar. Yeah, absolutely. So, Scott Stone, Halen here from Dayton, Ohio, and I'm a level one instructor with the Wim Hof method. Uh, so, this workshop is um, a way to find a new practice that helps center ourselves for uh, the rest of life. And so it uses breath work, cold exposure, and mindset and commitment training to allow us to find a perceivably uncomfortable situation, an ice bath, um, and find centered peace in it through our breath. And that's uh, really applicable to life as a whole. And so you know, over the course of four hours, we will go through uh, breathing mechanics, really teaching people, you know, the lungs as a lobe, most people breathe up in their chest, but it's the opportunity to hear in the diaphragm to really get that expansive breath and oxygenate the cells for repair, for showing up in life. And so um, that's where it starts, that we go into mindset and commitment training and really helping people understand the way that they perceive the world, perceive something like the cold. A lot of people don't like being cold. Um, and then we use the actual cold itself, which is optional. Not everybody's uh, necessarily forced to do it. It's an option if you like um, to enter this space of uh, an ice bath to find peace in oneself through their breath. Um, and then we package that all up as a take home so people can have this type of practice at their own uh, you know, place of residence, whether it's you know, with breath work and a cold shower um, so they can really integrate this practice as part of their life. That's awesome. And so if I'm you know, all in, you know, based off of what you just said, what are the things that I need to bring um, and what can I expect throughout that uh, seminar? Yeah, so in, in, order, uh, in terms of things to bring, so uh, I usually say bring a yoga mat, um, a blanket, a, a journal and pen, and a water vessel, just so you can really have the space, um, especially for something to lay on so you can be comfortable. That is the most important thing during the breath work itself because really what we're trying to do, I don't know about you, I'm really good at thinking. And so the opportunity is to, as I say, climb out of my head and into my body. And the way to do that is to allow myself to really be comfortable in this space. And so yoga mat, um, a light blanket, um, and we'll, we'll put all this stuff in the event uh, notes as well. And then um, your second question was, what should I expect? Yeah, what should I expect? So like as a CrossFit athlete, I'm coming here um, as a, a, a way to kind of further my fitness, right? Yeah. So how does this breath work, this mindfulness, how does this take me to the next level in my fitness journey? Yeah, so you know, the, the thing that came through when you were saying that uh, is a breath work I was teaching once where this woman was like, I felt my knees on a level I've never felt them. And what, what I mean by that is as an athlete, right, in a mobilization of a movement, you want to make sure that you have full conscious control of this meat suit that you're riding around in. <laughs> Right. And so if you're not if you're in a state where you're off thinking about something, right, something happens in your day and, and you can't get back to the bar literally, you know, before you're doing some mobilization, you might not feel your shoulder start to articulate, which could, you know, really not work out well. And so uh, what this is about is, is helping us come back into the body. Right. We're, we a lot of us are really good at thinking, especially these days in the world. And so what one thing to expect is when we do this breath work, over time what happens is the roommate in your head, your ego, starts to quiet down and you really start to connect to the body. And you might feel, oh wow, my shoulder that I've really been neglecting is just really letting me know that it's, it needs to not be neglected or that knee that you know, I'm a little wonky on needs to be addressed. And so it's an opportunity for our bodies to kind of give us these signals again, and then use some of our mobilization practices, whether it's a foam roller or a lacrosse ball, to start bringing blood flow back to ourselves. And so it's awareness. That's one of the biggest things you can expect from this. Um, the other one is the practice itself. So not only experiencing it in community here at Centered, but also taking it home and instituting it as part of your life so that you know a week or two after the event, you, know, you come up to me and you're like, hey man, have you been doing your practice? Like, how's it been really going for you? And you're like, man, I've noticed how I don't really breathe in my life, yeah. you know? And, and that's one of the things I say, and this is an awareness that you can take whether you show up or not. I'd love if, if you would, and 
If this is all you get, this I think will be huge. So most people breathe up in their chest and they sit and they drive and they, and they eat and they text and they look like the letter C. And when you compromise your lungs, you don't breathe fully. And consider this, if you have a shallow breath, you might have a shallow life. And I don't say that as a judgment, I say that as if you're not breathing fully, you're not giving yourself the opportunity of all the energy you're capable of. And so for me, this practice is about how do I show up better for myself, for my family, for my businesses, for my community, for the world. It's about that and it starts here first. It's awesome. So April 9th, uh, 1 to 5 p.m. Uh, here at Center CrossFit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Great. We'll see you there.